Hey guys, what's going on? Admin of Tales from Tales, Moy here. And today we're going to be showing you, well, we're, today I'm going to be showing you a couple more animation tips. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be doing mouth movement. Now this is a little bit more complex to do since it, um, the Tales, the Sonic models don't exactly have any, um, uh, phonemes, like mouth movement, automatic mouth movement, um, dialogue. So, um, we, we have to set that manually. So, give me a moment, I'm gonna record a line for Tails to say, and then we'll get started. Alright, just thought I'd go ahead and show this off in case you were wondering how to import your own custom tracks uh, or sound clips into the SFM. It's actually pretty dang simple to do. What you gotta do is you go into tracks, oh, under any, um, I'd recommend Audacity, it's free, so I use that. Um, once you start Audacity, go into tracks, Add new stereo track. Record what you want to say or put in what you want to say. File, export audio, and export it into your sound drive um, for SFM. In this case, that will be located somewhere around the user mod section for SFM. So let's save this as test audio. Spell that wrong. Audio. There we go. Save that. Here we go, and I'll meet you guys back on the SFM. All right, and we're back, and now we're gonna go ahead and import that custom sound file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right-click Dialog, add clip the track. We're gonna backspace and look for our custom sound file. There it is. Test on you. Hey, what's up? And that's the one I recorded. So press open, and now you have that custom audio on. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go into Modern Tales, um, Unknown. Right, um, control click, like group, um, group select, my bad. Group select onto all of his mouth movements. So this is um, surprise, angry, angry, open, sad, fun, ah, e, ah, i, u, e, o. Or however the hell you say that. Um, press M to save that keyframe and delete every other keyframe. So and then it would be easier to do select all, deselect this one, and then there we go. Okay, so now what you want to do is you're gonna want to go ahead and save all those keyframes. So this It's all about timing. What you have to do is you have to match the the um, what he's saying, what I'm, what the sound clip is saying, to the mouth movement. So in this case, <laughs> that's a he. So we're gonna do that as a e. That's a e. Oh wait. So that, that that's gonna tend to get annoying, but you're gonna have to get used to it. it that's just the way the SFM works, and Tails is drunk as fuck. <laughs> okay, so save that keyframe. So that goes back into like a E, like a Hey, sort of. So right here, you go down with the E. Angry open. This is teeth show. In case you can't notice, this teeth is showing now. Um, so, and then it goes into a what's up. Now there's no W sound effect here, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go with the closest thing. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So, hey, hey what's up? The way I talk is a little weird, so hey, what's up? Doesn't don't we really hear the A. So let's just add a quick A in there. Right there. Let's take away that ooh. Ah. Uh. So 
So that's like a sound sound. So now we're gonna Now it's back to the A, so uh open that up just a little bit more. Sounds like it's decreasing, so now it's sort of like on the brink of closing. So. It's completely closed. Hey, what's up? And there you go. That's simple um uh lip sync. That's basically it. You're just like sounding out the letters and trying to match what you have over here to it. So that looks really smooth. And I actually did like the way that ended up. So select all M and let's flatten that out. So select all. Hey what's up? Hey what's up? Hey what's up? So it looks really good actually. So let's go ahead and save file, save as, test.dmx, let's go ahead and save that, yes, alright, so, now this looks about ready to go, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and export it, so, export, movie, name it whatever you want, and I'm going to keep it test, now, I don't have QuickTime installed onto my PC, I don't know why, um, so it's going to save it as an AVI for me. It's not giving me much options, but over here we click more options. I know I just thought about that. Um, over here it's going to give you a list of things you can do. Progressive refinement, depth of field, motion blur, set pixel. All this is essentially going to be um, how good your video looks. What I'm doing over here is how um, these little black dots over here you see, that's ambient occlusion. The more you increase this, the smoother it's going to fade out. So I'd recommend setting this to 256. Um, some people set it all the way to 1024, but that's only if you have a good enough PC. So set it to 256 if you're um, set it to 256 as default, or you could all just use camera settings, which is usually uh, 64 or 128. But for the best quality for me, 256. That's what I always use. Um, draw entities, it's just saying what it does. Layoff settings, this you want to mess around with a little bit. If you override the frame rate, let's say 60, 60 frames per second, let's do that. It's going to add additional frames to the animation to make it look a lot smoother. So let's add that 60 FPS. Export movie. Ooh, wait, actually, uh, hold on, okay, I messed up, um, once the animation ends, it's a good idea- What's up? Um, so I didn't go over this in the basics in the basics video, but to cut a session in half, or like say this is a six, uh, this is a sixty second long animation. Um, to blade it, you press B, and that's going to blade this section in one shot. In in, in the, sorry, that's going to split the section into two shots. To delete this one, and then over here you're gonna see that it's a little nub thing. Scroll that all the way over to, to the end point. Hey, what's up? And the animation is going to end right there. Let's go ahead and export that. Export movie. Yes. Let's go ahead and make sure everything was saved as it is. 256. 256. Layoff. Override 60 FPS. Export. So now I'm going to cut back to once it's done. Alright, I'm back, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and view the file that we just exported. So, where you'll find it is you'll go to Elements, Sessions, 
and look for the exact same thing you just called it. Test, and it'll be saved as an AVI, AVI file in my case. You open it. Hey, what's up? Now it's lagging a little bit because it's um, inside of a different viewer. I'm not, this viewer in particular, I'm not sure why it does that. So let's go ahead and open it, open it with my um, video editing program. Let's open that to import, import media files, test. So the end result will look like this. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? It'll look like that. And that is pretty much all I have to teach you for now for SFM. Um, this is the mere, ba the mere basics. This is just for making animations. If you want to add particles, if you want to add like explosions and shit like that, I'd recommend going to other SFM uh, tutorials for that. I'm only here to cover for like Sonic um, characters. So if you need a little bit more help on this, if you didn't quite get it because I was stuttering all over the place, hit send me a message, tell me what you need help with, and I'll go ahead and see and do my best to help you out. Again, I'm really sorry that I was stuttering throughout this entire thing, but I'm not the best speaker when it comes to this sort of this sort of shit. So again, thank you very much for watching. If you did watch, um, if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff from me, if more animations from me, just let me know and I'll get right to work on them. Alright, thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.